So after you have your sides all pounded up nice and firm, side walls are nice and strong there, you gotta level up the tire. Uh, so you gotta not have a mound of dirt coming up in the middle here to do that. And we'll see, because you gotta lay the level across the side walls. So the first tire is a little bit different than the subsequent tires. This tire, you're just like, you're just leveling this tire to itself. Going down the line, we're going to be leveling tires to each other, to the one, the one that we just leveled. So to level a tire to itself, you're just going just across both sidewalls. And you give it a little bit of pressure down, and you can see here, this is really close, but this side needs to come up a little bit, or this side needs to go down a little bit. And I'll make a determination based on the way the rest of the tire looks. This side is perfect. So what I would do is, well, and then I would say, okay, well this side is this side is level to this side. Let me see how this side is level to here, to this mm -hmm. side now. So that's saying it needs to come up. That's gonna need to come up. That's showing pretty perfect. And this needed to come up or this needed to go down. So I'm gonna raise this up, up a little bit to start. See how that goes first. Okay. Might have been a little bit too much actually. I can see that. That's fine because I'll show you how to bring it down. Okay, so we're obviously way too high now. So to bring down, you can tamp down the side wall of the tire just with the sledgehammer a little bit. Just like that. Oh, pounding down. Down. Okay, so now that that's good. So these two are level to each other. These two are level to each other. And then you can kind of just go a little diagonal too. We did before. That's showing a little bit high. I mean, it's very slight. It's within an acceptable range. That's good. This tire is pretty good. Your acceptable acceptable range is an eighth of an inch. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this tire is uh, is level. It's level to itself. So now, as we go down the line in each direction, we will level across. We'll start by leveling across from this eyewall to that sidewall, and this sidewall to this eyewall, and then we'll make sure it's level that way. That sidewall to that sidewall, and then uh, and then we have that's how we go down the whole line. So the last step in doing the tire show, you put a little, add a little more dirt to the center. Doggy. Come here. Come here. You just tamp it down. Preferably the way you can use a sledgehammer, you can also use a 10 inch tamper. We don't have a tamper today, so we're using the sledgehammer. And this is just holding, what this is going to do is just hold the dirt from coming, from the sidewalls from coming in. And that doesn't change the height any? Yeah. No. The... All it's doing is preventing this from moving in. Mm -hmm. This is going to, the height's going to not be affected. And you're compacting that center because, you know, when you pound it all the way around, generally, after you pound it around, like I pounded this around once, all right, let's come back before I fill it. Tamp that a couple times. So you get that dull thud. You hear that? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just boom. Then you fill it again, pound it, tamp the middle, fill again, pound it, tamp the middle. So you tamp done, pretty much. Yeah, the dirt inside, you don't want it to be above the, the sidewall. If it's above the sidewall, it's going to throw off the leveling that you just did. All these sidewalls are what is level right now, this ring. And we move on to the next tire. It's a tamper. Did you make that? Yeah. It's awesome, dude. I don't think I've ever I seen one of these. Scrap metal laying around. And I just threw it together. Cool, man. So we're doing the pick trick. What we do, we, we have a really tight, non-flexible tire, same size as the adjacent tires. That's uh, just not as flexible. 
as the other ones, so we have to give it a little a little manipulation with a pick here, so we call this the pick trick. And um, rather than pulling the tire off the wall and replacing it with a, one that's a little more flexible, we'll just salvage it by doing this. It still may not get as high as all the other tires, but um, we're going to be darn close. Hey, let me uh, just check our batter. It looks like we're kind of... Okay, so we decide, decided to use a barrier of plastic that's going to come up on the back side of our wall here to prevent any migrating moisture that's not going to find its way down to the drain tile or the French drain pipe um, so it doesn't migrate through the wall. Uh, there's a product that they also use, um, a standard product called J-Channel, which is kind of like a rain screen, but it's a little cost prohibitive for this greenhouse. If we get a little water migration through the wall, it's not going to be the end of the world for a greenhouse. Um, so we decided just to go to a, use plastic instead. So the plastic is going to ride up along the whole back side of yeah, the, the earth bag? Yeah, the plastic is going to come up along the whole back side of the wall, even probably the earth bags. But uh, we're not berming up probably more than a couple more feet. So we're going to also create a detail where this, pla this plastic is also going to tie into the skirting, which is going to be in our contoured earth in the back. Are we using this 6 mil? 6 mil. 6 mil plastic. I would have preferred to double it up, but cost is kind of driving some of the decisions here to just use one layer. We're also going to use 6 mil plastic as the skirting on the uh, north side of the building in the berm.